Hello everyone, I'm Shu from Between Two Mules and today we're going to discuss about AnyPoint Code Builder, the next generation IDE provided by MuleSoft. In this video, I'm going to present you a hands-on demo on how you can actually build your applications using AnyPoint Code Builder. Before jumping into the demo, I would quickly want to show you some slides about what AnyPoint Code Builder actually is. So AnyPoint Code Builder is MuleSoft Next Generation IDE, as I mentioned, for developers to design, develop, and deploy APIs, integrations, and automations from a single environment. That's right, you don't need to use Design Center to design your API spec, API implementations, and you don't need AnyPoint Studio to build complex integrations. You can do everything from a single space. So this is the next generation IDE provided by MuleSoft. So moving forward, AnyPoint Code Builder will be used instead of AnyPoint Studio. So that's being said, I'm going to quickly show you guys the demo that I created on how you can actually build a Hello World application and how you can debug using AnyPoint Code Builder. Thank you for watching. From AnyPoint platform, you go on AnyPoint Code Builder. So AnyPoint Code Builder has two versions. One is the Code Builder Web and the other is the Code Builder Desktop. Code Builder Desktop is currently unavailable. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the Web IDE. When you launch it for the first time, the process may take few minutes, but uh, since I've launched it earlier, I think it's, it should be quick for me. Yeah. So once you get into the space, you can see any, any point code builder uses a welcome map page so this is the welcome map page which will help you to access relevant uh, topics or run uh, command tasks so as you can see they have three phases they have uh, the first one is design an api which is similar to uh, design center which will help you to build your own raml uh, specifications and then you have uh, implement an api uh, so this is uh, something which you can use if you want to uh, access a published application on uh, any point exchange and this is uh, develop an integration develop an integration is uh, similar to any point studio that we use to build our complex integrations so we're going to use it so just to give you guys a demo how you can actually build uh, an application on code builder i'll create a hello world application Again, I have done it uh, one time already. So let me develop an uh, integration. You have to give a project name. So I'm just gonna go with test one. And uh, for the project location, I need to click browse and select a folder. I'll do test app and I'll try to create a project. So once it is done loading you can see the explorer is similar to what we have on AnyPoint studio we have the source folder main resources test uh, artifact json and palm xml so i'll uh, go ahead and click on this text xml so one major change in code builder is that we don't have uh, drag and drop uh, options we can't drag and drop connectors so instead what we need to do we need to build our xml so I'll go ahead and cancel this and I'll try to create a flow. So if you click, if you type FLO, you'll get this flow embedded. And you just click here, you need to type in the name for the flow. So I'll do test hello. So this will be the flow name, right? And in the flow name, uh, I'll try to have a scheduler to run uh, a demo application. So as you can see, there's no scheduling strategy defined so I'll uh, go ahead and define a scheduling strategy so what I'll do so while you're working if you're wondering uh, if it is working as expected what you can do you can click on this show graphic mode so it will show you a flow created inside this flow you have a scheduler you can maximize and minimize as well so 
So inside the scheduler, we have uh, defined a, fi a fixed frequency of minutes. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set a payload, right? So I'm just gonna type payload or I'll type set. It's gonna automatically populate it. And here I'm gonna say hello world. After I set the payload, what I need to do, I want to transform, let's say, uh, this payload into JSON. So simply type transform, and here you get this transform with the output JSON message. So you can change the name, test, transform. And uh, here, instead of this dummy data, what you can do, you can just simply type payload because we want to transform our uh, payload into JSON. Once this is done, I want to put another transform just to show you guys how you can map our payload. So in the first name, I'll just map my payload here. So this has been mapped. And uh, after that, I want to have a logger. Sorry. Uh, logger with the log ID and I need to define the levels so I click on levels info and then uh, maybe the message message has payload so this is done so as you can see on the left side we have the uh, graphical mode of what we just wrote and I'll uh, go ahead and I'll try to debug this so if you see, we have this option run and debug, and uh, I click on debug view application. You can debug Node.js application and you can add configurations. Uh, you can add extensions, you can add uh, a Python script and try to debug it, it will work fine. So I'll go ahead and click on de debug view application. If I try to debug, we'll have the output similar to what we have uh, in AnyPoint Studio. See, you will see the uh, boot as well here for you to hit the application. So, if you see here, we got the uh, log here with the uh, payload and the last name. So, this is how you can uh, build an in, uh, integration using any point code builder. And the one more thing I want to show you guys, which is intriguing, is uh, the data sense. So, if you stop this flow. Which I can do from here. Close this, and if you see on the, if you see here, here in the transform, right, you get this bulb. So this bulb, if you click on this uh, bulb, you can actually check the preview. Just like uh, the, in the data view playground we have, you can see the preview of uh, what you bet. So right now payload, uh, it's not being able to uh, check what the payload is because we have not defined it. So if I simply change it to Alex and if I click on preview again, it's going to show you what the transformation looks like. So for me, this is pretty cool. Now you don't need to go to data view and data view playground and uh, try to see what will be the output. Uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the demo. Uh, since it's just a beta version, it is still in progress. So we need to wait to actually see what they do with the drag and drop connector option because to me, I think that is very useful and quick. Well, thank you so much.